So what's the difference between between FIR filtering FIR filtering and using the Fourier transform. The difference is as a Fourier transform is a causal. Yeah, so this means it is not real time. So it needs all samples. Whereas the FIR filter Yeah, so is causal. So therefore it works in semi real time. Essentially a delay of M half samples. M half is the number of tabs. Yeah, so this and this one here, so I'm going to demonstrate here with the 50 hertz removal. So in order to show that this actually works in real time, I have um, hooked myself up here to this bioamplifier. And so I can put this here on the table. So we see this yellow cable is is running here to this input of the amplifier, which is a negative input. Then this cable here is running to my left foot and this one to my right foot. And um, so now if I'm bringing up the program here, Comedy Record, then, then we see here a quite a noisy ECG. This in, in particular very noisy because I'm just moving around here, just I'm trying to get this a bit more in the middle, that at least the ADC converter is not saturating. Okay, so we see here this quite noisy ECG. Then here we see the Fourier spectrum of that in real time. So we have a massive 50 hertz peak here. And the actual ECG is actually this part here, this bit. And so now what I can, what I can do is in this program here, I can click this button here, which is called 50 Hertz Notch, and then this removes this instantly. So before I do that, just to increase the tension a bit more, I just pull the relevant code bit here on the screen. So essentially, so if I'm um, clicking this checkbox here, then this operation here is enabled. And um, so I've created an FIR object here, and this is just getting one value from the AD converter here and generating a filtered value out there and then this is saved in a buffer again. So okay, so now let's have a look here and click this um, 50 Hertz filter on. And we see instantly that the ECG is completely clean and the 50 Hertz has been removed. We see this also here in the spectrum plotted on the side that the 50 Hertz is completely gone. So we see that this filter works very well as a real-time filter here. So the, this is the ECG just running with 50 Hertz and at the moment I click that here then the 50 Hertz is removed.